Do you ever feel like you just can't focus? You're busy working all day, but when you look back at your progress, you have barely moved the needle. You feel like you're stuck in one spot, running on a treadmill that never ends. Meanwhile, you watch those around you make more money than you, while working less than you. Well, truthfully, it is not your fault you can't focus. Modern society has destroyed your attention span with 30 second ads and 10 second TikTok dances. And since a kid, your brain has been conditioned to jump from stimulus to stimulus. And this has left you with two paths, become a slave to cheap dopamine, destroy your focus and never reach your goals in life, or learn the cheat code to focus use technology as a tool and leverage it to get ahead in life. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to hack your brain to get eight hours of work done in two hours using my four step video game framework. And this is what I've used to grow my online audience to over 500,000 people and build a seven figure business within three years. And this framework is unconventional, but once you get this set up, distractions are going to be a thing of the past and you're going to unlock a level of focus you have never experienced before. So as a former video game nerd and addict, I'm going to explain this system using the analogy of a role-playing video game like Skyrim. Finally awake. And it's going to consist of four simple steps. One is creating your quest. Two is navigating your map three is equipping your armor and four is using potions. And I know it sounds weird, but just hear me out. Now, before you can start leveling up in any video game, you need a quest, something to work toward. And without a quest, you're going to be wandering aimlessly and won't gain any experience or unlock any new levels. You'll be stuck with everyone else stuck on level one with all the NPCs. First, you need to master your focus by creating a hub with your goals and projects. And this is where you'll view your progress and what steps you need to take. And by taking the 10 minutes to set this up, you're going to free up a ton of mental space in your brain and have a clear roadmap to follow and get shit done. So to do this, you are going to use a to-do list. And I promise I did not mean for that to rhyme, but I recommend the software things three because it is super simple to use and it is designed very sexily, sexily, sexy. I don't know if that's a word sexually, but we're going to roll with it. Now find a to-do list you like, whether it's things three or something else. But once you have your to-do list, you're going to create four different folders or sections within that to-do list following the Eisenhower matrix. So the first folder is for tasks that are urgent and important. So these are your priority tasks that you must do immediately. The second folder is for tasks that are not urgent but they are important. So these are tasks that you can schedule to do later. The third folder is for tasks that are urgent, but aren't important. So these are tasks that can be delegated. Now the fourth folder is for tasks that are not urgent and they're not important. So these are tasks you can just consider eliminating completely. Now, once you have your four folders created, you're going to pick five to 10 minutes out of one day of the week, listing out all of your tasks, AKA quests, for the upcoming week. Once you have all of these listed, categorize them into the folder they belong to. And when you start your week now, you're going to have a crystal clear direction on what you need to do instead of wondering, oh, do I need to do this? Do I need to do that? And just wasting time and energy. But what good are quests if you don't have a map to show you if you're heading in the right direction? And when you don't know how you spend your time online, you're doomed to repeat the same distracting mistakes. And it's like the old singing goes, what gets measured gets managed. And that's where Rise IO comes in. Rise is a productivity software I've been using for the past three years that acts as your personal roadmap. It shows you when you're wandering off track from your focus goals and helps you course correct. And it does this by categorizing all your activity in a sexy looking chart so you can see where and when you are wasting time. It also goes a step further and has a built-in timer, focus music, and reminders for when you get distracted. So pick one day out of the week to review how you have spent your time. Look at what sites have distracted you and when, because this data is going to be crucial for the next step. So even if you have your quest and you know where you're going, you need armor to shield you from the distracting apps, websites, and notifications constantly trying to kill your focus. That's because although the internet has given us freedom we've never experienced before, it has also bombarded us with distractions we've never had before. Our brains aren't 
wired for constant distractions from emails, notifications, and messages. And each time you interrupt your focus to respond to these, your brain is eating up crucial mental energy. And this destroys your energy, kills your productivity, and ultimately causes you to burn out. Now, I've tested many different tools to protect my focus, but none come close to this next app because there's no better way to focus than eliminating any possibility to get distracted. And that's where cold turkey comes in. And I'm not talking about leftovers after Thanksgiving. Cold turkey is a website and app blocker. You tell it which apps and websites you want to block and when. And unlike other app blockers, once cold turkey is enabled, you can't uninstall it once a work session has started. Even if you restart your computer or try to uninstall the program, trust me, I've tried. So list out all the distracting websites and apps that are distracting you from your quest then set a specific schedule for your work sessions with cold turkey and block those distracting apps. Now, having armor is great, but when you combine it with a focus potion, your quest becomes 10 times easier. And the potion I'm referring to isn't anything you drink. Instead, it's something you listen to. Enter Brain FM. This is an app that designs music that's scientifically proven to increase your focus. Now, I love listening to Hans Zimmer and movie soundtracks while I'm working, but when I need to get a lot of work done fast, this is my go-to. It's one of the easiest ways to improve your focus with the least amount of effort. All you gotta do is press play and experience the benefits of increased productivity and focus. So if there was a focus potion, this is it. Now. If you have your armor and potions, you also need an inventory to organize your stuff on your quest as well. And without an inventory, you're going to be disorganized and distracted when you try to find what you need to get work done. And this is where Notion comes into play. Notion acts as your second brain where you can store all your systems, SOPs, documents, and other information. And it's 10 times better than Google Docs because you can build out anything you want within seconds. Charts tables, interactive toggles, linking to other pages, tags, and everything else you can imagine. It also has an AI integration to help you organize your documents and optimize your writing. By having everything you need in one organized central hub, you can easily access the items you need to complete your quests. It's also collaborative, so if you have people on your team, you guys can use it together. So there you have it, my friends, the four-step video game framework for productivity. I hope you find it useful. And when you use all of these together, it's going to have a synergistic effect that just builds momentum and ultimately turns you into a focus machine. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, on this video and drop any comments of your favorite productivity tools below. And if you enjoy content on online business, writing, building an audience, and cheesy self-help motivational content, then subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. I drop videos every week on Friday. But with that being said, I hope you guys have a kick-ass day and much love.